we are doing a little um, tour of uh, parts of the house basically to show what we've done in regards to controls so you can switch the lights and the thermostats without having access to the uh, mobile phone or the apps on it coming down the stairs here there are two U dimmer switches um, each of them is on a different U hub there's six U hubs around the place and as you can see underneath are the original physical switches if you look up there in the corner there's a motion sensor that's for turned the light on earlier if you look now to your left in the window there's another motion sensor turned down the lights on here there is a uh, smart a U smart button again the physical switch is under the faceplate so just pop that if access is needed um, then here is another dimmer switch and that's uh, again the original switch the physical one is underneath that prevents people from uh, physically turning the lights off above that is a switch stacked 440 that's a little uh, is four-way switch uh, with an e-paper display and that uh, can be set up for all the decked uh, items, uh, smart home items, like all our thermostats. They, so you can control the thermostats from there. This is a U-tap switch. Um, again, the original switch is underneath. What's interesting about that is that has no battery. It's uh, driven by kinetic energy. So when you tap, when you push the button, it generates it. There is a echo flex here uh, with a night light underneath. Uh, they're very handy at that low level. In, in those sockets uh, and it gets dark the, the light comes on in the bathroom again uh, you dimmer switch for that you can take that out and take it with you there is seven bulbs here that are controlled by that five in the chandelier and two on the wall these are all ikea warm white e14 candle type bulbs um, come come into the hallway here with the staircase there is another motion sensor that just set all the lights off here and before we forget it we'll turn off the light in the hallway and this is a friends of you switch that's also kinetically uh, driven it has no batteries and there is no wires and nothing that's actually just glued to the wall with double-sided tape which it comes with there's nothing underneath Echo, lights to 50%. Now we see everything connected with Alexa. Um, okay. So we can go and uh, use voice commands. And then there's a couple of these Fritz decked phones around. Now obviously they work as a phone, but on top of that, they also have access to all of the smart home devices that are in the ABM ecosystem. So we have a couple switched sockets, like for the floodlights outside, for the fountain outside, um, the dishwasher and the uh, washing machine to prevent the little one from playing with them. Um, all of the thermostats, uh, there are five smoke sensors that are connected. Um, you can then go and you can see the power consumption on any of these switched sockets and you can see temperatures around the place and the 37 degrees there that's the press it's quite hot in there it's one of the things i still have to do some work and insulate the pipes because there's no insulation on the on the hot pipes so room gets very very hot well, you can see here's another echo flex here the night light is on right now again very handy for the hallways and this room contains at the moment all the packaging of all the smart home stuff that we've bought in the last Alexa? year. Well, Alexa? all the new stuff anyhow, because some of it I bought secondhand okay. and it might not be packaging for it. That's a bit mad. That's the Echo uh, wall clock, the Disney edition. Alexa? Let Alexa? Alexa? Lights off? Okay. Back to the hallway. These vintage phones, there's one, there's another one further down. Um, they work. They are analog phones. Um, so you can pick them up, you can dial a number and that will work. Somebody left some cleaning utensils behind this morning. 
there's the friends of you switch again as I said no wires no battery just by tapping it it basically generates energy and uh, turns on the lights here's another one of these this vintage phones and back up the stairs to the office and we'll go into the uh, into the guest room. Also here, the friends of view switch. There is no nothing behind it. It's just glued with double-sided tape to the wall, and it switches 11 bulbs um, in the guest room, and then the other switch switches the hallway to uh, Ikea Symphonisk Alexa. Speaker lamps and the lights off. Um, and Alexa, uh, okay. Echo Dot. Alexa, Amazon Echo Dot. 50%. And that allows you also to start the music. There's an okay. ISDN phone there that's connected to the system. Here is another uh, Fritz temperature con uh, the switch with, with for temperature control and a use smart button. And that's for the bathroom. And in the bathroom, we have two inner vintage bulbs. Um, that are also Zigbee. Uh, we found them to sort of fit in there. So basically, everything has been converted to smart home, um, but you don't need the phone. With it. You have the system. There's a button everywhere, and we've generally covered the original physical buttons so that people don't switch them off, um, like physically. Thanks for watching and uh, see you another time.